Auntie Michael, when you pet the cat, she trusts you. for a young man who feared his life was going nowhere. I felt good about it, praying, and as if I was clean. My sins have there you go. left you me. The cat, she gets it's all you from your past. It is, yeah, and that's what I mean. Is. And Michael's not scared. He moved to I Yemen, be. learned Arabic, took an Arabic name, Murad, and a Muslim wife with whom he had three children. By 9-11, he was immersed in radical Islam and even named his son after Osama bin Laden. Why would you do that? Because he was born just after 9-11. And, and Osama bin Laden was a hero. He was a Muslim soldier who stood up against the big Satan of America. You know, many Americans listening to that will mm. be offended. Mm. Mm. Well, I'll tell you the truth. But over the years, Storm began to have doubts about his faith. As dramatic as his original conversion was, so was his break with Islam. This is how he explains it. I typed on my keyboard, on my laptop, contradictions in the Quran. That's the first time i ever done that. What I believed in for those 10 years, your elbows in my stomach, Suddenly but I don't want to move you because you're close to the cat. I discovered that it was all fake. I made a decision not to be Muslim. You can't go from believing all of this for 10 years to instantly not no, thinking any of it. You know right? what? Uh, it can happen. That can actually happen. It was a roller coaster, an emotional roller coaster. Because no you were giving up everything. Yes, of course. So you made a decision. You call Danish intelligence. Call Danish intelligence. Without saying why, Storm arranged to meet Danish agents at a hotel in Copenhagen. He was well known to them as a hardcore extremist, and they've been tracking him for years. So they said, oh, well, you know, they said, because that was my Muslim name. What would you like to eat? Would you like to have fish or vegetarian food? So I said, no. Storm now transformed into a double agent. He says one of the most important targets he was given by the CIA was his old friend, Iraqi. An assignment that took him deep into the Yemeni desert to meet the Al Qaeda leader. Two guys came out with the AKs and I was like, you know, if you know anything about me, I yeah, know. Yeah, me, ma'am. Yeah. Inside, Storm says, our market is still in the midst of some 30 heavily armed Mujahideen, or holy warriors. When he stood up, he said, I need to go see you. He said, I need to go see you, my brother. And he walked up, he gave me a hug. At that meeting, Storm told us, our lucky drew him into his small circle of confidence. He even gave him the other keys to his secure communications network, which he showed us. Ah, I got you. They would now send him with encrypted emails. Can you actually fix things? 